All right, today I'm checking out 1,000 homo DJ. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> I can do this, man. I can. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I can do this. I can. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I might need to go to the bathroom, man. I need. A, I need a minute. Okay. I need a minute. We've never done this band before. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's we go. Okay, just speed through it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's how I gotta do. Super not, super not. All right, today I'm checking out 1,000 Homo DJ. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> Maybe I should just say the song and not. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I need to distract myself. What, what can we distract ourselves with? I need a sound or something. Just, oh, I don't know. Okay, just random sounds. Oh, not the laugh. Hold on, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, today I'm checking out 1,000 Homo DJs. I'm listening to the song Supernaut. Let's get into it. Practically every one of the top 40 records being played on every radio station in the United States is a communication to the children to take a trip, to cop out, to groove. The psychedelic jackets on the record album have their own hidden symbols and messages as well as all the lyrics of all the top rock songs. And they all sing the same refrain. It's fun to take a trip. Put acid in your veins. did something interesting with this song because like they definitely industrialized it wait industrial fight you know what i'm saying it sounds kind of industrial to where like the the drum kit sounds like it also has like a trash can lid on it you know what i'm saying like something they're hitting like their symbol sounds more like some kind of you know hollowed out trash can kind of apparatus and like that sounds very industrial to me the vocal melody i feel like they kept that melody and cadence the same which is good because i like that I like that one. Then you got this like steady, you know, bass thing, which makes you kind of want to march around, to kind of march around, stump your foot, something like that. But in an in industrial fashion, because it sounds industrial, like they definitely changed the feel. They changed the feel of it without completely destroying the song because you got the vocal melody and stuff intact. So I would definitely say this is an interesting cover. <laughs> the cover art, I'm staring at this cover art. Just trying, guys. I'm trying to hold it together.
See right here, you can hear the trash can sound that I'm talking about. This is the perfect point to point out, like the perfect pause point to point out that whole trash can sound. Now, who is on the vocals? So you guys say this is nine inch nails in ministry. Boom, smushed up and combined. Who was on the vocals? Who's on the vocals? So I didn't really expect to be able to hear what they're saying all the way, but honestly, the vocals are more clear than I was expecting. I was expecting them to be super muddy, murky, and kind of, you know, just under the music and whatnot, but you can actually hear. You can actually hear the vocals. I feel like I struggle with both bands to hear the vocals with both Nine Inch Nails and Ministry, but this is surprisingly clear, and the vocals do sound industrial too. Add that to the industrial mix. They do have like some kind of static on them or something like that, to where it's definitely this whole thing, this has to be industrial. Now you would have to strap me down to a chair and start torturing me to get me to say that this is not industrial. It has to be. It has to be industrial. Did, did our 1,000 homo DJs do the original justice? Did they do it justice? I know it's it's risky business covering Black Sabbath and whatnot. A lot of people, you know, you get really serious, really serious about these covers and stuff. Especially, God forbid, you say you like the cover better than the original. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Wait, let's get a sample. Oh, we're right in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right in the middle. Let's drop right in the middle of this. <laughs> I mean, that vibe is completely different. They definitely put their own industrial twist on that cover. I feel like those songs would be played in two totally different settings, two totally different clubs or whatever. Completely different vibe. You want to post that with the laughing, please? Okay, we'll, we'll tell the editor to keep the, to keep the laughing in. I try to remember to do that. To say keep the laughing in the... I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who's it go? She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. But I don't know. 